Uh, if I'm a healthy individual, let's say, you know, 18 to 50 years old or 21 to 35, um, what's the lasting impact and damage to my health and my lungs if I do get COVID-19? I think the, um, the data is still not out as to what that um, consequences are. Some young people have no impact at all. They don't even know they're symptomatic. They recover, they have immunity, and they're normal, healthy people. Um, some uh, have more dramatic flu-like symptoms. The body ramps up its immune system you, and conquers the virus, and you basically just stay at home and you recover like any other uh, person who may have had a similar type of virus, whether it had been the uh, the coronavirus, SARS-1, or whether it's the flu. You know, people, I don't want to say it's flu-like because everyone um, and says this is not the flu, but those similar symptoms, and you just recover, and there's no lasting damage. There is some concerning um, data that's been coming out of Italy and France uh, with some younger people, age, I'm going to look at my notes here, but uh, age 30 to 40 year old, uh, having s about 12% of them having some more severe consequences and damage to the lungs that may be long lasting. We don't know what uh, to what extent. Um, but the feeling may, may be that those, these are patients that um, either had a high inoculum or a high uh, dose of the virus for whatever reason, or they completely ignored the recommendations of trying to isolate and, and wash hands and just didn't follow some instructions and, and were put themselves at greater risk. So we don't know what the lasting consequences are for younger age groups. We bottom line is we know that the um, old people are at greatest risk and we don't know the consequences, but this is why we want to do the telehealth. And this is why you maintain a relationship with your physicians, your primary care, your pulmonary doctors, the lung docs, so that we, we go into this with well-managed disease and we come out of it uh, with effectively treated disease so we can and maintain our life.